Your car is a powerful tool in self-defense, but you should use it to escape more than you use it to try to punish. Hi friends, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host as always, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Argentina. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. Guy in the car is just dropping a buddy off at this house apparently when two dudes on a moto roll up and the guy in blue puts, pulls a gun and wants to steal his car. And the guy's like, nah, man, I'm not gonna do that. Backs up, now he is gonna put it in drive and try to run the guy over who gets out of the way, plays a little bit of frogger with him here. But he does get the motorcycle run over and knock the guy on the moto off the moto. And when they go try to get back on the moto, he's gonna put it in reverse and take another opportunity to try. Bumps over that guy, and again, they're gonna run off. Now, according to the news story that I've linked in the description, one of the neighbors came out to see what's going on. He was injured in this. Apparently, they shot at and hit the neighbor. Uh, the intended victim here was able to drive off and wasn't hurt. Cops did not find these moto robbers. They did recover a beat up moto, and we get to think about lessons. Man, that's serious stuff. I got a question for you out of this one. Have you ever taken an evasive driving class? Have you ever, like, not, not just like, you know, defensive rules of the road, don't get in car wreck stuff? but actually using your car at high speed to escape danger. Have you ever done it? It's on my list to do in 2022. Let's always remember that when we are in a car and it is stopped, it is a transitional space. Secondarily, of course, uh, you know, particularly in Central and South America, two dudes on a moto is absolutely a prelude to an armed robbery. There's zero question about that. Where you are in the world matters for that. So when you're in your car and it is stopped, I do recommend that you keep your doors locked at all times. Keep the car in gear if at all possible. Keep the car running and pay attention to your surroundings because your chances of being victimized are higher. And of course, in Central and South America, you certainly want to look out for two dudes on a moto. Now, guy jumps up and he gets you know a gun pointed at him and our intended victim here now is backing up. I think the best answer in this particular case, quite frankly, is to continue to use reverse. I would strongly recommend you get out of the danger zone as fast as you can. Most bad guys could not hit anything past about 15 yards. Most good guys can't hit anything past 15 yards for that matter. And so getting more than 15 yards away from him, which the fastest way to do that is to continue in reverse using your evasive driving skills, I think is probably the best solution from a tactics perspective. Now that said, you know, I get it. You're like, hey, I want to stop these guys or whatever. I just think it's smarter to get out of the danger zone because you give the guy more chance to hurt you otherwise. Now he goes forward in this case, and I would argue that he's entirely justified here in the use of deadly force. And certainly put, trying to put the guy over the hood is an intended use of deadly force, but the guy's just pointed a gun at you. He is absolutely a threat of death or great bodily harm. So I have no problem with him trying to put the guy over the hood, but I would like to recognize it's probably not as easy as you think it is. And a lot of people, you know, are like, oh, I just put him over the hood. Well, this guy tried to, and he wasn't able to do so. Now he did get the motorcycle. Okay, fine. But if, in that case, I would strongly suggest, all right, he missed the guy with the gun. That's the biggest threat. Got the guy with the motorcycle. Now, guess what? Keep going. Don't try to back up again here. You're not trying to punish you're not trying to get back at them or whatever. Your main goal has to be to get to safety. And as a private citizen, it's all about getting out of the danger zone. Break contact. Your mission, your primary mission in a defensive use of force as a private citizen is to break contact with a deadly threat. Get away from it as fast as you can. Now, to get away from it, you might have to stop it. You might have to make the bad guy regret his life choices. But if you can get away like this guy could have, that would have been a better choice in my opinion rather than drive back over this guy. Because again, you reinsert yourself back into danger with a guy pointing a gun at you like this guy is unnecessarily. You didn't have to take that kind of threat. Now, thankfully, this guy is you know a coward and he just runs away and that's great and I'm all about that but it was very dangerous on the part of our defender. So I would strongly prefer instead that you just get the heck out of the danger zone. Use the car and that's great. Use it in its best way possible to break contact as fast as you can as you seek to cover your ASP.